Hey, on today's daily sprint, we're talking about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning. And today, I gotta just be uh, put myself out there, be a little bit more vulnerable with you, because um, I kind of go through these phases. I have a pattern where I'm going, 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 and then I start to feel sorry for myself, and I'm like, man, what am I even doing this for? It's too hard. There's gotta be an easier way. There's gotta be an easier way. Like, you know, like, hey, you know, what about like, if we did some more properties, that's kind of easy money, you know? What if we like did more at the mark market? I, I'm in the stock market group and we do the things and it's like, it, it looks like it could be really easy money, you know? And I'm not, I'm not saying not to invest, definitely invest, do all that. But it's like, I go through these phases where I want it to be easier. I want it to be easier, okay? You ever go through those phases where you're like, why is it not easy? easier it seems so much easier for that one that one and that one and it's not that's just our perception but here here's three facts that i ask myself to get me out of this rut quickly okay number one easy is great until it's not okay taking the easy way out yeah that's great let's, let's go all in let's liquidate everything and go all in on that crazy hot hot stock tip that's great you know that people have lost hundreds of millions of dollars, okay? Taking easy, okay? Not being smart, not being, not necessarily conservative. I think you should take risks, but being flamboyant, like crazy flamboyant with their, their money. Mike Tyson had half a billion dollars and lost it all. MC Hammer, I mean, there are all these people. They just live the easy life. So easy is great until it's not, because easy will not increase your mental, or physical or spiritual capacity. And I'm a capacity man. I don't want 40% if I'm capable of 100%, okay? I don't want the glass just half filled up here so I can sip on it, but then I can't share none with anybody else, okay? So easy is great until it's not. That's the first thing that gets me out. But then sometimes I'm like, yeah, but you know, I still like kind of want it to be easy, okay? Second question I ask is do I really want easy? Do I really want that? When I'm sitting around having cigars and bourbon with, uh, with people from wherever, you know, do I, and, and they ask me like, wow, man, you know, you seem to be doing okay. Like, you know, what, what's your secret or whatever? Do I really want to sit back and like, yeah, it was easy. It was easy, I inherited it. You know, I, I don't know. I struck oil in the backyard, it's crazy. I, I found like 10, 100, 10 million, hundred dollar bills in a briefcase, they just let me keep it. Do I want that to be my story? Do I want my easy does not motivate others. I love Rudy, man. I love Rocky Balboa, man. They, they got through hard and they helped me get through hard. You know, Rocky just wasn't like, yo, Adrian, this is easy. I'm beating Apollo Creed. You know? I mean, no, he had it hard. Rudy, man, Notre Dame, he had it hard. Picked on, smashed around like a tackling dummy. Man, those are the stories that motivate. And I don't want to be known as, man, that guy just had it easy. He doesn't know what it's like for life to hit hard. That's not gonna help motivate other human beings. And number three, this kind of solidifies it. Do you want your legacy to be easy? Hey, on your tombstone, he lie or she, she led the easy life. They took the easy way out, okay? No, and I'm not saying to go look for unnecessary hards, but if you go back to that capacity, life will get more manageable. Manageable. If you embrace some of the hards that are just part of the day-to-day -day living, part of doing business, embrace those hards, you will get better at them and they will become more manageable over time. It will never be easy. We need to embrace that as well. Hey, hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully this helps you get and say, you know what, the easy life is not for me. Okay. Again, we're not going to go seek undue hearts, all right? But the easy life, that's not our legacy. That's not what we want to leave behind. That's not part of our identity. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great growth-driven rest of your week.